Hello, I'm Danielle from the Shimon Software team, and today I'm going to show you how to make a new quotes text file for Instaquote. First, we'll open up a new document. I have Notepad just here. Now, we're going to enter in our quotes. So, finding those wherever you happen to have your quotes. I used Google and just searched for quotes and found this site. From there, I selected motivational quotes, and here they are. Now, we need to highlight this. So, left mouse click and drag, right mouse click, and now we're going to copy. We'll go back to our notepad and right mouse click, paste. Now, we can get rid of this little tag. We don't need that. And we need to move the author's name to the beginning. So we're going to select, right mouse click and cut, uh, right mouse click and paste at the beginning. Now we also need to add in something to divide these. I'm go we're going to use the little squiggly line which is located above the tab button on most keyboards. So holding the shift button, insert squiggly line. And next quote, so back to our website. And right mouse click, copy, and paste. I thought we'd just do a few of these. Might do one more, it just it looks nicer for a demonstration to have just a few. And last one, come back here. And moving the author's name to the beginning again. And the squiggly line. Okay, so now we need to save this file and save as. Now, for me, Instaquote comes up here. If it doesn't, it will be under your desktop. As you'll remember from our installation guide, we put Instaquote on the desktop. Now here we're going to change the name, um, let's go demo quotes 3txt and save. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our Instaquote and where it says here text Instaquote file, sorry, Insta text quote file and we'll select demo quotes 3 and open. Now we'll go down here to apply changes, click, and now we're just going to run the program. Well, that was fast. Okay, yes, we want to open the output folder, and there you have it. Our files and new quotes already done. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye from the Shimon software team. Hello, I'm Danielle from the Shimon software team and today I will be showing you how to customize your quote slides and make new templates using Instaquote. Let's begin. Up at the top here we will select our template. We'll select a generic one for now so that we have a base to work from and just adjust a couple of things so we can see what's going on. I might remove the logo for now, we don't need that in this presentation. Now let's move down to the first thing that we can start customizing, our text for the quote. As you can see here, it says that we can adjust the space between the lines in percentage to font size. At the moment, it is set at 150. That's this distance here. So now we're going to adjust it to 300 and apply changes. And as you can see here, much larger space in between our words. Let's try, we'll shrink it to say 100 and apply changes, preview and almost no space between the words. The next thing actually before we go there I might just put this back to something a little bit more moderate. 
There we go. The next thing we can customize is our background. So at the moment it's set at four. So the background is the outline of the wording, so the yellow. It's set at four at the moment. Let's make it say 12, nice and dramatic. Apply changes, preview mode, and there you go, very bold background. Let's make it a little bit smaller now. So say three, apply changes, preview, and a much thinner outline of these words here. Now the next thing we're going to do is adjust the colors. As you can see, red at the moment is our main text color. Let's change it to a nice, dark blue. Okay, and let's change our outline to aqua. Okay, apply changes and as you can see our text coloring has changed. The next thing we can do is come down here and adjust our author's text coloring and let's make it pink very girly color and outlined with purple and apply changes that's our preview there we go nice color changes there we can also adjust the background width on the author so let's make that one a little bit more dramatic say six uh, maybe we'll make it eight and apply changes so there you can see that the purple has grown a lot thicker. Now what we're going to do is adjust our font size and type. So here at the moment we've got Microsoft Sans. Let's change it to so Go Script and Oblique. And let's make it a little bit bigger. 26? Mm, 28. Okay. Now applying the changes and as you can see our script here has changed quite dramatically. And then what we might do next is, ooh, can't even see our author anymore. Let's just change this over here. I'm going to reduce that font a little bit because I can't find my author and apply changes ah there we go there's our author it was hiding and now what i might do is move my author down a touch we can also change the font of our author so let's make our author let's go down here um no here we go ar essence i like that one but let's make it a little bit smaller as it is quite thick and apply changes. So as you can see, our author's font changed as well. Let's go to preview. There we go. So there you have how to change our text, font and space between lines. So now what we're going to do, because we've decided we like this, we're going to save it as a template. So if you come up here and to where it says template name, we're going to type in oops, favorites. Um, let's make it three. And then ooh, save template. Template saved, okay. Now if we go here and we'll choose another generic template, so you can see that's changed. But now if we want to return to what we have done just before favorites three under templates apply changes and there we go back to our template well i hope you found this tutorial useful please don't forget to check out our other tutorials and hope to see you next time have a good day from the shimon software team bye